Reefers, welcome back. Today we're going to frag a coral that a customer brought in, in for us to frag up. He's had it for about three years and it started off as a single head. It's a lobophilia and it's grown to multiple heads. He wants to frag it up and obviously pass it on to a few of his friends and that and you know, keep the hobby going. It's what we like to do, you know, you grow a nice size coral, you frag it up and you share the love. So today we're going to use the Griffin bandsaw to frag this coral. It's quite a large piece and we're just going to take you through the steps on fragging coral. So basically I have the piece of coral here on the side in a bucket but we're going to start off by filling the saw. Now what I like to do is when using when cutting a coral is always to use a little bit of iodine in the water of the saw that just helps keep any any infection from cutting to a to a minimum. Okay so basically what I like to do so when we fill the tank of the saw, is not fill it until it's touching the inner wheel, just so the sponge is submerged. So it's about a liter of water and it works perfectly fine. Okay, if you are hearing a bit of a hum, this is the 110 volt Griffin um, Aquasaw XL and obviously in South Africa we're 220 volts so the hum is the step down transformer. Okay, so our, our reservoir on the saw is full. We're going to add some water into a container on the counter. And this is just going to be to add the coral in after it's been cut. Also with a little bit of iodine solution. And that's just also, you know, to prevent any infection after cutting. And then from there, it'll go back into its um, main container. Okay, so let's get the coral. <clears throat> this is the coral in question. It's a nice size lobophilia. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into individual heads. Okay, if you look at the coral itself, all we're going to do is follow the lines in between the head with the saw. Now with the bandsaw this is a lot easier than using any other any other technique so we're going to go over to the saw camera and we're going to do it now. Okay excuse guys this is going to be very loud. Okay so we're going to follow the lines of the head. say with the lobophilia it does make it a lot easier with the size of the heads oh my bad the blade has come loose this is a common thing here it's gonna work its way back oh. okay let's put him back in this container Sort this out quickly. Okay, so sort this out. Ugh. that back on so obviously you just got to be careful when you are running I wanted to run backwards to get the blade out so we could come from the other side and obviously I just popped it out okay blade back on the wheels all the covers back on get the coral
Okay, okay, so let's start cutting again. See, I've gone through, if you can see there, I've gone through there. Now I just want to come from this side over here and then join up on that cut and so start it up. piece, put that in the iodine mix, and we cut this piece here off. Another piece. Now what I'm going to do with those, I'm going to make them more usable. But before we carry on, take this little piece here off. Let's have a look, trying to find the best line to follow. Just worried about the stone at the bottom here, don't want it to damage the blade. stone so I want to try and avoid that so it'll just eat through the, the blades of the saw unfortunately I can't avoid it skeleton So if you look at that, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, this was the original um, rock that the frag was on. Let's see if this maybe might come off. Let's see how that skeleton has grown nicely to that. Oh, no, that coral has grown very nicely to that.
last one. Okay. So now that that's done, okay. A lot of this white stuff that you see in the bucket, I don't know if you can see it in the, on the camera, is just the, the dust from the, the skeleton on the slime that the coral is excreting. Okay, so now what we're going to do is cut the bases a little bit more manageable. So go back to the saw. space to sit on. I'm going to take him from here and put him straight back into the main bucket. Basically, all we're trying to do here is cut a nice flat base so that the coral can stand. And then the person who's using it, he can put it onto a onto a frag rock. Or place it on in his aquarium frag rack or wherever he wants to put it, sorry, frag tank. Nice. Just trying to achieve nice little bases. So it's quite sharp, so it's going to be a bit hard. Could go for two smaller frags here. And Almost done, a few more to go. This one is a double. Got that base nice and flat. together because those are two very small heads there that'll grow out quite nicely okay last one go. so that was fragging a large multi-head lobophilia with the Griffin Diamond Bandsaw. Now, with the saw, you can cut any coral, especially acans where the heads are very close to each other and you don't want to go through the head and you want to cut a full head out. This is a beautiful saw. You saw how easy it glided through that. Yes, I did have an issue when I went through this pebble, 
because that is a very dense stone and you don't really want to cut this sort of stuff because this is going to eat through these blades and these blades aren't cheap they are quite expensive so you want to take into mind when cutting making sure you're not going through too too dense rock your normal coral rock your your dead coral rock and that your like tonga branching and all that you can cut through that because that is skeleton that is basically this this is basically it's made out of coral skeletons this is a dense a very dense sandstone and this like i say will eat through these blades like yeah very quickly so you want to avoid cutting through these uh, this if i'm not mistaken was the original stone that that he started with with one head and three years later it turned out to that which is about one two three four five six seven eight 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 heads later. Just in my in my book for a for a lobophilia LPS coral, that's fairly good growth that. So guys, it's always a pleasure and catch me on my next video. Happy reefing.